Welcome back to an action-packed Thoreau Beach, just north of Wollongong, an hour south of Sydney, with some of the best iron men, iron women, and surf sports athletes in the business going at it. We have the board relay final up now. It'll be hard to go past Corumban, Jack Hansen. Corumban have been fantastic so far in this summer of surf, and I think they'll go again. These girls have led from start to finish in many of the races, and I think they'll do it again. Let's hope you don't put the commentator's curse on them. I like Newport, Miller, Moses, and Spencer. Can it be a Newport double? The girls are away. They'll make their way through this inshore gutter and have a look at the shots. It's like we're riding on board with them. No, oh, it's a great shot there, Josh. And these girls are making their way across this little bank. Maybe it's filled up a little bit. We didn't see as many of the girls get up and run across. So they've got to try and negotiate this little break now. Try and get their skills right. Pop these little waves coming through. Actually, they aren't little. These waves are quite powerful and they're oh, not breaking belted. in much water at all. Absolutely belted. We saw Danielle McKenzie stop. Georgia Miller stop. Kira Kinsey stop. Everyone stop. They're not going anywhere and they are being hammered. Carly Nerven goes up and over. Georgia Miller goes under. Danielle McKenzie just gets belted. And Nerven out in front. Corumban, they're in the lead. What a performance so far from Carly Nerven. And Jack, as you said, the conditions changing a little bit. Do the tactics change with those changing conditions? Change, change, change. I don't know if the tactics change too much. The conditions certainly have changed though, Josh. We saw that bank. Not as many of the girls up and running, so it's filled up in there with that high tide. We'll see what happens. We'll see if that that makes any difference to that wave zone on the way home. Hopefully it gives some of the girls a little bit of a reprieve on the way in, makes these waves a little bit easier to handle. Someone who is hard to handle is Carly Nerven out in front. The rest of the girls can't go with her. She just eyes the final can. So much concentration there. These girls aren't looking around. They aren't worried about the rest of the field. They're just trying to get back to the beach as quick as possible and set their team up. She did a great job through that break there, Carly Nerven. She got a little bit of a break on the other girls. She's trying to keep stay away from them as best as possible. But Kira Kinsey's chasing hard. So is Danielle McKenzie. These girls aren't going to let her have it all her own way. Not at all. She makes her way home, staying laying down. We see that a bit from the Nerven sisters. They lay down just that little bit longer than the rest of the field. Make sure the board keeps running. And then when they get into that break zone, they jump up on the knees as Carly Nerven does there and really start to work hard for home so it's Nerven from the Corumban Club out in front Danielle McKenzie from Northcliffe in second place two of the powerhouses of women's racing and surf sports what about Carly Nerven she's swung it around she's going sideways we saw Matt Poole do that a little earlier on she'll sit up wait for a wave push hard and she'll get it so great surf skills there from Nerven make sure she's in the right spot Kinsey's down it as well so what about this wave it's brought the rest of the field back into the mix there all the girls are on the back straps very tough conditions as a few of the girls get them on the outside as well and they'll have to be careful oh they make it only just we saw Danielle McKenzie oh stands up so some skill there from McKenzie and that's made all the difference she'll lead around that turning flag and up the beach so it is Northcliffe from Corumban it looks like Manly's in there in third place and North Burley in fourth we've got a race in four Jack yeah certainly a good race up in front and we see the Corumban girls Carly Nerven's handed over there to Ellie Picken, so a bit of a change from their usual team. Amy Nerven out crook this weekend, this event. She's not there. She's not going to feature. Ellie Picken's going to have to show the girls what she can do. The former Tasmanian, now junior Coolangatta Gold champion at Corumban, followed coach Michael King from the Sunshine Coast and has a little bit of work to do chasing the Northcliffe Club. or oh, a little bit of drama there. And some of the girls are off there. That looks like Heinegger from North Burley. She's just slid off the side. So a lot a lot of work to do to catch up there for Zoe Heinegger. Out in front, it's Taylor Pascaric from Manly and Eliza Smith from Northcliffe. Then Ellie Pickin from Corumban and Heinegger from North Burley come around the cans. We're in the second of three legs here and it looks like Northcliffe's taking a bit of a different line home. They've gone off to the left. Eliza Smith, she's out in front, but Taylor Pascaric answers. More noted as a swimmer, but doing a great job here in the board relay. Yeah, it's an interesting choice there from Eliza Smith. We've seen a lot of the girls and boys taking that move to head back to their right. So paddling into the middle of the course. Eliza Smith's gone the other way. Perhaps she's seen something that the others haven't. Well, the line has worked all day on the left, but Eliza Smith on the right in the centre. Zoe Heinegger tries to get involved there from North Burley and 
Ellie Pickens got a lot of work to do back in fourth place. Board's not her best leg, but she's quick across the sand. Wait for her big transition. They make their way in and no waves are coming. There's no waves for Manly. There's no waves for North Burley but there's a wave on for Corumban and they're down at what about the jag from Ellie Pickin, the Tasmanian special. She gets it down and joins back up with the leaders so we're back again with a race in for Corumban, Manly, North Burley and Northcliffe there and on the wave behind a couple more teams as well so they're not out of it. They're heading into the final leg. Watch them go in this transition. We see the girls ride their boards right up onto the beach there Josh that gets them onto the hard sand and out of those potholes in the water's edge so important to get off clean and get a good transition Taylor Pascaric around in one looks like Eliza Smith Ellie Pickin Heinegger's left behind a little bit Newport there a lot of work to do heading into the final leg there's Northcliffe B as well so Tara Coleman's in for North Burley Georgia Miller's in for Newport in fourth and fifth but they're chasing our three leaders Rachel Creer are there for Manly it looks like Kirsty Hardstar for Corrupt and Alex Nolan for Newport. They are our top three. Looks like a sixth team's joined up, so Northcliffe B's in the mix as well. So you can't count any of these teams out, and with all the action we've seen today, it's going to be anyone's race. And have a look at how difficult it is on that bank, Jack. There's waves coming from everywhere. Still plenty happening on that bank, Josh, and we saw a few of the girls take dip different options. Couple get up and run across, throw their boards up and jump over waves. The others try to take the more skillful option of popping. And a couple got belted from from the side. Who knows what this surf's doing here at the rule? It's an absolute disaster. Who'd live here? I know I would love to. But out in front, Rachel Creera is doing the job. Kirsty Hardstuff trying to keep this run of Corumban going. Georgia Miller there back in fifth place, really trying to work her way in. She knows she's still a chance. She's just got to work hard and get within a wave of the leaders. Well, the waves have made a huge difference all day, Josh, and they'll most probably make a difference here again today. In this one if we get the girls in two on a wave in front that'd be fantastic but no doubt we're going to see these girls come from behind hard work from rachel career she's a lay down paddler has gone all the way around on her stomach looks like kirsty hard stuff sticking close on the way home then a two board length gap tara coleman alex nolan just get jammed up on that can and the gap opens up even more georgia miller in fifth place has work to do she's up on her knees she can see the leaders and she's going hard at it on the way home but Kreera starts to break away, asks hard staff the question, can you go with me? Can you stick with me? But there's a wave on. There's a wave on here. Coleman's missed it in third place. So's hard staff, but they're back in the mix. So it's still anyone's race here. We can see that brown water. That's the sand. That's when you know you're getting close to the business end of the action. The waves start to lift. We can see it looming from the can. Hard staff pushing, pushing, trying to stay with Kreera, trying to stay on this one. Kreera's down at all oh, the smallest little wave. It's just a small wash up the beach. Tara Coleman's in the mix too. Just out of shot. Hard stuff goes past her. Hard stuff's gone past her in the dirty water. She's gone for home. Look at the stroke rating. She's lifted through this dirty water. That's great work from Kirsty Hardstaff. Oh, that water is churning. And how hard is Kirsty Hardstaff? She's paddled past Kreera in that dirty water and she's going to win it for the Corumban girls and carry on their victories that they've had so many in the start of this summer surf series. Don't worry about the wave. She doesn't need one. She just do it all on her own. Kirsty Hardstuff, formerly of WA, has made the move all the way over to the Gold Coast and isn't it paying off for Corumban? Congratulations Picken, Nervin, Hardstuff. They're our winners. Rachel Kreera will cross the line. Hard times for Manly. So close to a win in the board relay. But Corumban take the women's board relay final ahead of Manly. Northcliffe North Burley were in the mix for so long, finished just off the podium in fourth place. Newport never really in the race. Northcliffe B and D round out our field.